Hey there, it's Cassie from Elementor. In this video, we'll explore the archive. So what's an archive? When you visit a site's blog and see a list of published articles, you're actually viewing an archive page. Archives include a variety of terms that you're probably already familiar with. Author, date, category, search results, recent posts and tags, or any other taxonomy. With Elementor, you can control your archive's layout and design, affecting all the different archive terms in just one click. So how do you define an archive page? Easy. Go to your site's dashboard, Elementor, Template, Add New. Under Template Type, choose Archive. Name it, and click Create New. This lands you in the Blocks Library, where you can select a ready-to-use block, or click on the X to build your own archive from scratch. When designing your archive, try out these two handy widgets. The archive title, you can just customize it like any other title. This widget depends on what kind of archive you have, like an author archive, etc. Click on the title widget's handle, and over here in the panel under content, click on the wrench icon, and slide on the include context. This will remove or include your archive term from the title. And check out the archive posts. Customize it like any other post widget. With archive posts, the content is generated dynamically by the filter that you choose, either by date, author, or any other archive term. The number of archive posts displayed is determined by your WordPress archive settings. By the way, if you want to change it, just go to WordPress, Settings, Reading, and set the number of posts you want. It will impact all of your archives. Back in the Elementor editor, you're using dynamic content, so to preview the design of your different archives, click the eye icon, click the settings, choose the term you want to filter the archive by, apply, and preview it. For example, if you choose to design a tag archive, you'll see how the page will appear in the tag selection mode. And if you choose to format a category archive, name and add your category. Now you can see exactly how the archive page will look. What if there's no content? No problemo. You can also customize your default site message if the archive is empty, or for a category page with no results. To apply the design, click on Publish, and click on the Add Condition button to select the condition. By default, all archive will be displayed, which will apply your design to the entire archives. Now, if you want to apply the design only to a specific archive, Select a specific condition, for example, category, tag, author, or any archive you like. This way you can create a beautiful and unique design for your archives. Design your archive pages today, the fun and easy way, the Elementor way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel.